You were looking at the path the smoke from the Lower North Fork fire took on Monday when uh, the fire just exploded into an inferno. And you can see on the radar the plume reached from Jefferson County all the way out onto the eastern plains. So while that giant plume and thick smoke is not choking the sun here in the Denver metro, as you can see from Air Tracker 7 this morning, skies are still uh, quite hazy out there. The smoke combined with the typical springtime pollen in the air may make your eyes burn and you might be sneezing as well. Yeah, and if you have heart or lung problems, the air quality, very big concern. Dr. Diane McAllister is here, as always, on Wednesday to talk about the, uh, the smoke and the return of allergy season, the double whammy. Yes. It seems like everybody in the newsroom is coughing, sneezing, the running nose, the whole bit. Um, it, it, would that be fire or, or would that be allergies? Well, you know, the correct answer is both. Yes. Um, you really can't tell the difference. Um, the irritation from either one makes your eyes water, your nose run, and it irritates your lungs. Mm. Let's talk about the smoke. I happened to snap a photo this morning of the smoke hanging over the city. Why is the smoke so irritating? And by the way, it's clear up at Conifer right now. <laughs> Beautiful blue skies. So the, there's gases and very fine particulates that come from the burning trees, foliage, and structures. And th those are very irritating to the mucous membranes and um, the lining of your eyes. And the mucous membranes cover your entire nose, mouth, and your whole lung system. Making my eyes water right now just talking about that. Yeah. Um, the smoke advisory uh, officially uh, expired yesterday at 4 o'clock, but there may be still some folks out there that have issues with all this. Yes, absolutely. There are four groups of people that are particularly susceptible. One is the very young because their lungs aren't done developing. The second is the very elderly because as we get older, our lungs get more fragile. And then those who have chronic lung conditions like COPD and asthma and those who have heart conditions such as heart failure or even just a history of coronary artery disease really can um, be affected by this more than the rest of us. So let's talk about some of the things we can do. We don't have to be victims of the smoke. What can we do to limit its impact on us? Well, the, fir the first and most obvious is stay inside and close all the windows in your house. And then it's a good idea not to, some of the smoke will still get in, so don't burn candles, don't be vacuuming and getting the dust going in your house, and um, absolutely don't be smoking cigarettes. Um, from there, you can do things like um, taking symptomatic relief. You can put eye drops in your eyes and that actually helps move some of those particulates out of your eyes and salt water up your nose will also help remove the um, the uh, particulates out of your nose and the saline, back of your mouth. Uh, yeah, a little washes yeah. you buy at the drugstore. They're not very expensive. So what I'm hearing you though is, is saying is that some of these allergy symptoms and some of the smoke symptoms are kind of the same. Do you, do you attack them in different ways at all? Well, in general, no, but there's a couple things if you have allergies that you can do in addition to that. And one is to um, wash the dog, wash the kids, and uh, change clothes when you come inside to keep the dander out. Mm -hmm. And that's really helpful in keeping your inside more clean than the outside. That's a good thing. All right. Thank you for those reminders. Dr. Diane McAllister joins us every Wednesday, and you'll find her weekly advice on the DenverChannel.com, our website, under Staying Healthy. Scroll down to Dr. McAllister's own special section.